Hello, this is Melvin Black, and I'm going to show you how to add maps to your PowerView dashboards. Maps are actually one of the most impressive features of PowerView, and they're very easy to add to your PowerView dashboards. As always, you start inside the PowerView environment that's part of Excel. And as always, you, to begin, you want to select a measure. And if you watch some of the previous demonstrations, I always start off with sales. And I'm going to do that here. As we see, sales is added here. And I'm going to size this a bit. And I'm going to add a map simply by selecting the map option here. Once I do that, I get a map, but it's essentially the map of the world, which is not particularly useful. So I have to add locational information that should be part of my data set. And to effectively use maps inside Power View, it really depends on how effective your data source has been developed to include locational information. Now in my example a lot of has been done and it's under this dimension location. So what I need to simply do is select information from that dimension. Now I'm going to start just by selecting the address. And just by doing that PowerView understands that there are some addresses that it can just pick up off the map simply by the number in the street. Well, again, this is not particularly useful because we need pinpoint information. So I'm going to select the latitude and I have to drag it to this latitude location. And now I have to add the longitude and I'll drag that as well. And now we can see that the map is actually doing work here and it's sort of pinpointing the location. And in this example, we're using the Sydney, Australia area. And you can see that I have these blue circles here that represent the sales size. So as the bigger the actual circle, the bigger the sales in that particular location. Now I can change the type of map simply by selecting inside the selecting the menu option layout and then select map background and I'm going to select a row map which adds a, some color to this as well I have other map options I have the grayscale area view I actually have the, re, the area view which is satellite which is actually uh, more detail and we're using the Bing technology meaning that we actually can drill in with the same functionality that you can typically find in Bing Maps. And if I want to add more information to these maps I can add data labels. And let me change the map background so you can see that better. And as you can see it's the name of the actual street of this particular representation. And as you can see I can size it a bit. And now if I want to add more information to it, like I can want to see, well, you know, it's interesting to see the actual sales, but what part of the sale represents the entire circle here? So I can add more dimensional information. And let's look at dining type and let's drag that to the color section and now I have dine type which is represent, represented in a pie format and each section represents a type of dine, dine type and it also added automatically a legend and I can filter that legend sorry I can configure that legend to different locations by selecting this option here let's put it at the bottom and as you can see the legend is there as well. Now I can filter this map simply by adding another filter and I can talk about category let's see here let's look at this category here and I can filter the entire 
map by different dining types condiment which is not particularly useful so let's actually take that off let's add the filter over in the filter area and now I can change the map sales representation by the type of category and if I want the map to be filtered by dining type I can create individual maps one for drive through one for dining and one for carry out again you have a lot of functionality with maps and if I want to zoom in individual ones, I just select that one. And as you witness, I can add a map with relatively ease and incorporate all the functionality that you commonly see with Bing Maps. And that concludes this demonstration.